Ramadan Ramadan is the month of blessings and forgiveness Ramadan is the month of blessings and forgiveness Ramadan Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyid al-Anbiya'i wal Mursaleen Amma ba'd فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله صلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله صلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Dear viewers of Madani Channel You are watching an episode of our series The Virtues of Ramadan Let's start our episode by listening to an excellence of reciting صلاة للنبي صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم the Prophet of mankind, the peace of our heart and mind, the most generous and kind sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has said, whoever recites salat upon me a thousand times in one day shall not die until he sees his place in heaven. Subhanallah azza wa jal, sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, before listening to this episode, Firstly, let's make the intention that you will listen to this episode to gain the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jal. You will listen to this episode till the very end. You will listen to this episode and whenever you hear Sallu wa al-Habib, you will recite Salat al-Nabi sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Before doing any righteous work, make sure you make some good intentions. The Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has stated, Niyatul mu'mini khayrun min amali. That is, a believer's intention is better than his action. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, Alhamdulillahi azza wa the blessed nights are going on. The nights of the last 10 days of Ramadan, Laylatul Qadr is an extremely blessed and sacred night. It is called Laylatul Qadr because the commandments of the whole year are enforced in this night. In other words, the angels make a record of whatever is going to happen the following year. It is stated in Tafsir Asavi savi on page 2398, volume 6. Translation, it destiny appears in the registers of the angels. There are several other reasons for the greatness of this night. A renowned commentator of the Quran, Mufti Ahmadi Arkhan Naimi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi has stated, this night is called Laylatul Qadr for several reasons. Number one, in this night, the tasks of the following year are set and assigned to the angels Qadr refers to either destiny or dignity. Number two, the Holy Quran was revealed at this night. Number three, the worship performed in this night has great excellence. And number four, Qadr also means narrowness. Angels descend at this night in such a great number that the earth is crowded with them. For these reasons, this night is called Laylatul Qadr. There is a hadith in Bukhari Sharif that says, Whoever offers salah with faith and sincerity in this night shall be forgiven for all his previous sins. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, We must not spend this sacred night in heedlessness. Whoever worships in this night is rewarded more than the worship of 1,000 months, which implies more than 83 years and 4 months. Only Allah Azza wa Jal and His beloved and blessed Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam who was informed by Allah Azza wa Jal know how much more. Sayyidina Jibra'il Alaihi Salam and other angels descend at this night and shake hands with the worshippers. Each and every moment of this blessed night is full of peace that remains until subh e sadiq It is a huge grace of Allah Almighty that He Azza wa Jal has granted this glorious night only to His beloved Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam and His Ummah for His sake. Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Holy Quran, translation of Quran Kanzul Iman, Undoubtedly, we sent it down in the blessed night. And do you know what the blessed night is? The blessed night is better than a thousand months. Therein descend angels and Jibra'il by the commandment of their Rabb for every affair. That is all peace till the rising of the dawn. 
Subhanallah, the dear viewers of Madani channel, did you see? Laylatul Qadr is so important that Allah Azza wa Jalla has revealed a whole surah describing its excellence. In this blessed surah, Allah Almighty has mentioned several unique qualities of the sacred night. Commenting on the surah, the honorable commentators of the Holy Quran have said, In this night, Allah Azza wa Jalla sent down the Holy Quran from the Lohe Mahfuz to the first sky and then gradually revealed it to his beloved Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam over a period of approximately 23 years. It is stated in Tafsir Azizi that when the beloved and blessed Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam considered the fact that the previous Ummahs were given long lives whereas his Ummah was given short lives as compared to them he Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam got dejected and concerned that his Ummah would not be able to surpass previous Ummahs even if it worships abundantly. The mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal intensified and He Azza wa Jal granted His beloved Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam Laylatul Qadr. Explaining the background of the revelation of Surah Qadr, some honorable commentators of the Holy Quran have documented a very faith refreshing parable. Sayyidina Shab'oon Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alaihi worshipped Allah Azza wa Jal for a thousand years in such a way that he would offer salah the whole night, fast during the day, and fight unbelievers in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal. He Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi was so strong that he could break heavy iron chains with his hands. When the wicked unbelievers saw that they would not be able to defeat Shamroon Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi, they persuaded his wife, tempting her by a lot of wealth to tie him with strong ropes while he was asleep and then hand him over to them. The unfaithful wife tied him with ropes while he rahmatullahi ta'ala lay was asleep. When Shamroon rahmatullahi ta'ala lay awoke and found himself tied up, he rahmatullahi ta'ala lay broke the ropes with no difficulty, setting himself free. Then he rahmatullahi ta'ala lay asked his wife, Who tied me? Pretending to be loyal, the unfaithful wife said, I was just testing as to how strong you are and wanted to see how you would be able to free yourself. This incident was thus ignored. Despite failing the first time, his unfaithful wife constantly waited for another opportunity to tie her husband in the state of sleep. One night, she had another opportunity to do what she wanted. When he Rahmatullahi went to sleep, his cruel wife cunningly tied him with iron chains. As soon as he Rahmatullahi woke up, he Rahmatullahi Ta'ala lay broke the chains instantly and became free easily. Though shocked, his wife cunningly made the same excuse again. I was just testing your strength. During the conversation, Shamaroon Rahmatullahi Ta'ala lay revealed his secret to his wife that Allah Azza wa has blessed him with the status of wilayat and nothing could harm him in this world except his own hair. The unfaithful wife understood this and she knew what she had to do. Worldly riches had blinded her. One day she found the opportunity to tie him with his own eight hair whose length was up to the ground. When he Rahmatullahi Ta'ala lay awoke, he tried hard to free himself but could not succeed. The unfaithful wife that was intoxicated by worldly riches handed over her pious and righteous husband to the enemies. The malicious unbelievers tied Shamaroon Rahmatullahi Ta'ala lay to a pillar and brutally hurt his nose and ears and cut out his eyes. The wrath of Allah Azza wa Jal was intensified by the helplessness of his wali. The cruel unbelievers were sunk into the ground and a lightning of divine wrath struck the unfaithful, selfish, unfortunate wife, burning her to ashes. When the honorable companions radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een heard about the worships, fights and struggles of Sayyidina Shab'oon rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, they were impressed by him and said to the noble prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, we have been given very short lives whose some part is spent in sleeping, working, preparing food and in other worldly affairs. We cannot worship like Shab'oon rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi. Bani Israel will surpass us in worship. Having listened to this, 
beloved and blessed Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam became sad. Instantly, Sayyiduna Jibreel alayhi salam arrived and presented Surah Qadr on behalf of Allah Azza wa Jal. The Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam was comforted and reassured that every year we have granted your ummah a secret night. If they worship me at this night, they shall surpass the thousand months worship of Shamoon rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal, Allahu Akbar Kabira, dear viewers of Madri channel, how merciful and kind Allah Azza wa Jal is to the Ummah of His beloved Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. He Azza wa Jal has bestowed upon us this night for the sake of His beloved Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. If we worship in Laylatul Qadr, we will earn more reward than the worship of a thousand months. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Unfortunately, we don't value this night very much. There seems to be a great difference between the enthusiasm of the companions radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een and that of ours. It was due to their grief that we have been given such an enormous blessing without asking for it. They treasured it, but we are ungrateful. We don't even have time to worship. We waste this huge blessing in heedlessness every year. Tubu ilallah, astaghfirullah. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Mandani channel, in order to develop the mindset of attaining the blessings of Lairud al-Qadr, join the Madani environment of Dawat e islami a global and non-political religious movement of the Quran and Sunnah. Alhamdulillah, in order to spend life according to the Sunnah, 72 naik a'mal, that is Madani in Amat, 63 for Islamic sisters, 92 for male religious students, 83 for female religious students and 40 for boys and girls have been formulated. These are in the form of questions regarding worships and morals. Everyone should fill up their booklet of Nek Amal practicing Fikri Madina that is pondering over deeds every day and hand them to the relevant responsible Islamic brother before the 10th of every Islamic month. The Madani and Amat or the Nek Amal booklet have caused Madani revolutions in the lives of many Islamic brothers and sisters. Listening to a blessing of Nek Amal, an Islamic brother of Karachi gave the following account. The Imam of the Masjid of our area was associated with dawat e islami Making individual effort, once he gave my elder brother a Madani Inamat booklet or a Nek Amal booklet as a gift. Having reached home, when he read the booklet, he was surprised to know that the small booklet contains a thorough guideline for the Muslims to spend their lives according to Sharia law. Due to the blessings of the Nek Amal booklet, he started offering Salah with Jamaat in the Masjid. Alhamdulillah, now he has also grown a beard and fills his Nek Amal booklet. Subhanallah, Sallu ala al-Habib, Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, we are hearing about the blessings of Laylatul Qadr, this blessed night. Sayyidina Anas bin Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu has stated that once the month of Ramadan arrived, so the Prophet of mankind, the peace of our heart and mind, the most generous and kind sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said, a month has come to you in which there is one such night that is better than a thousand months. Whoever is deprived in that night is deprived of all goodness and only the one who is completely deprived is deprived of its goodness. Allahu Akbar Kabira. Narrating another background regarding the revelation of Surah Qadr, Sayyidina Ka'bul Ahbar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, a tabi'i saint has stated, there was a righteous king in Bani Israel. Allah Azza wa commanded the Prophet at that time to ask the king to express his desire. When he heard the divine message, he said, Ya Allah Azza wa I want to sacrifice my wealth, children and life in jihad. Allah Azza wa blessed him with a thousand sons. He used to groom each son for jihad and send him along with an army to fight in the path of Allah Azza wa The son would fight for a month and then be martyred. The king would then groom another son and send him to fight along with the army and in this way every month he would sacrifice one of his sons. Further, the king used to offer salah at night and fast during the day. After a thousand months, all his thousand sons were martyred. Thereafter, he fought himself and drank the beverage of martyrdom. 
impressed by the sincere sacrifices made by the king, people said that no one can reach his status. So Allah Azza wa Jal revealed this verse. Translation of Quran, Kanjul Iman. Laylatul Qadr is better than a thousand months. In other words, Laylatul Qadr is better than the king's thousand months in which he offered salah every night, fasted every day, and fought in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal with his wealth, life, and children. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani Channel, Sayyiduna Abu Bakr rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi has stated that Sayyiduna Sulaiman alayhi salam and Sayyiduna Zulqarnain radiallahu ta'ala anhu both ruled 500 cities each. Thus, both of them together ruled a thousand cities. Allah Azza wa has made the worship of this blessed night better than what these two great personalities ruled. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal, dear viewers of Madani channel, Laylatul Qadr is the night of goodness and peace. It is a mercy from the beginning to the end. The honorable commentators of the Holy Quran have said, in this night there is protection from snakes, scorpions, calamities, problems and devils. It is also full of peace. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. According to a narration, in Laylatul Qadr, an army of angels under the command of Jibreel alayhi salam descend from Sidratul Muntaha with four flags. They hoist one flag on the blessed tomb of the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, one on the roof of Baytul Muqaddas, while the third on the top of Kaaba and the fourth on Mount Sina. They then enter the house of all the believers and say salam. They say, Salam, this is one of the names of Allah Azza wa Jal, sends peace upon you. However, these angels do not enter the houses in which there are alcoholics, eaters of swine, or the people who break ties without valid shari reasons. Another narration states that the angels outnumber even the grit of the earth and they all come with peace and mercy. According to another detailed hadith reported by Sayyidina Abdullah bin Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, our beloved and blessed Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, in Laylatul Qadr, Jibra'il alayhi salam, accompanied by a large number of angels, descend onto the earth with a green flag he hoists on top of the Kaaba. Jibreel alayhi salam has hundred arms, two of which he opens only in this night. His arms spread across the east and the west. Then Jibreel alayhi salam commands the angels to say salam and shake hands with every Muslim who is offering salah or making the zikr of Allah azza wa jal and to say ameen to their supplications. This process continues until subh sadiq that is dawn. In the morning, Jibreel alayhi salam commands all the angels to return. The angels say, O oh, Jibreel alayhi salam, what about the needs of the Ummah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam? Jibreel alayhi salam replies, Allah azza wa jal has seen them with mercy and has forgiven all of them except four types of people. The Honorable Companions radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een asked, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, who are these four types of people? He sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam replied, number one, alcoholics. Number two, disobedient to parents. Number three, those who break ties with relatives. Number four, those who bear malice and grudge against each other and break ties. Tubu ilallah, astaghfirullah. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, did you realize how blessed and sacred Laylatul Qadr actually is? Everyone is forgiven in this night, but the alcoholics, those who disobey their parents, break ties with relatives and have malice and grudge against fellow Muslim brothers without a valid reason of Sharia are not forgiven even in this night. Dear viewers of Madani channel, isn't this enough to make us fear the wrath of Allah Almighty? How extreme sinners would be the ones who are not being forgiven even in this blessed and sacred night of Laylatul Qadr. 
we must repent sincerely of our sins and settle all the matters concerning the rights of others. Indeed, the mercy and bounties of Allah Azza wa Jal are immense. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Sayyiduna Ubada bin Samit radiallahu ta'ala anhu has narrated that our noble Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam came out to tell us about Laylatul Qadr as to which night it is. But two Muslims were quarreling with each other. He sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, I came to tell you about Laylatul Qadr, but so and so persons were fighting due to which its exact date has been concealed. It is possible that your betterment lies in this. Now look for it in the ninth, seventh, and fifth night of the last ten nights. Dear viewers of Madani channel, this blessed hadith contains a great lesson for us. Our beloved and blessed Prophet ﷺ was about to tell his companions the exact date of Laylatul Qadr, but the quarreling of two Muslims with each other proved to be a hurdle, causing the exact date of Laylatul Qadr to be concealed forever. This also indicates that Muslims quarreling with each other can prove to be an obstacle in the attainment of mercy and blessing. Alas, it seems as though no one is prepared to advise others. People argue with each other, saying sentences like this, These days, a naive person cannot live in this world. If someone is good to us, we will also remain good to him. But if someone tries to harm us, we will teach him a lesson. Even worse, people turn violent and trivial matters to the extent of quarreling, fighting, and even killing each other. Regretfully, these days, some of the Muslims belonging to different races such as Patans, Punjabis, Muhajir, Sindhis, and Balochis are killing each other and burning their fellow Muslim brothers, properties, and their other things just on the basis of racial and linguistic differences. O oh, Muslims, you were the protectors of each other. What has happened to you? Our dear and beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has said, all believers are like a single body. If one part is wounded, the whole body feels the pain. A poet has rightly said, when any part of the body has pain, weeps the eye. How sympathetic with the whole body is the eye. Dear viewers of Madani channel, instead of fighting with each other, we must cooperate and assist each other sincerely. A Muslim does not fight, stab, rob, or burn the shops and property of other Muslim brothers. Sayyidina Fadala bin Ubaid radiallahu ta'ala and who has narrated that on the occasion of Hajjatul Wada, the Prophet of Rahmah, the intercessor of Ummah, the owner of Jannah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said, Shall I not tell you about who is a believer? Then he sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said, A believer is the one whom people do not fear regarding their lives and wealth. A Muslim is the one who does not harm people with his tongue and hands. And a mujahid is the one who fights his nafs in order to obey Allah Azza wa Jal. And a muhajir is the one who gives up his sins. He sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam also said, It is not permissible for a Muslim to hurt the feelings of another Muslim by offensive gestures. It is also unlawful to do anything that frightens or terrifies another Muslim. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Sayyidina Mujahid rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi said that Allah azza wa will inflict a severe itch on some of the people of hell. They will scratch so much that their skins will come off, exposing their bones. They will hear a voice, what do you think of this pain? They will reply, it is severe and unbearable. Then they will be told, this is your punishment for harming the Muslims. Allahu Akbar Kabira. Tubu ilallah, astaghfirullah. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet of mankind, the peace of our heart and mind, the most generous and kind sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has said, I saw a man wander around in heaven. Do you know why? Simply because he had removed a tree in this world from a path in order to make it easier for Muslims to pass. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. Dear viewers of Madani channel, learn a lesson from these blessed ahadith and avoid fighting with each other. If you really want to fight, then fight the rejected devil, that is shaitan, and your nafs, that is nafs-e-ammara, the nafs that is misleading. 
you may well have realized the great loss of fighting which resulted in Laylatul Qadr being concealed forever. We are unaware that we may be deprived of other great blessings and bounties because of our personal conflicts and quarrels. May Allah have mercy on our miserable condition and make us realize whether we are Punjabi, Pathan, Sindhi, Balochi, Siraiki, Muhajir, Bengali, Bihari or anyone else, we are all slaves of the Noble Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam is neither a Pathan nor a Punjabi, Balochi nor Sindhi. In fact, he Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam is an Arab. If only we would truly stick to the Sunnah and teachings of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam, ignoring all racial differences so that we may become united and righteous once again. Alhamdulillahi Azza wa there is no racial difference in the Madani environment of dawat e islami Peoples of all tribes and languages are under the shade of mercy of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. Please join the Madani environment of dawat e islami and practice the Naik A'mal booklet in order to live a righteous life. For your motivation and encouragement, here is a pleasant and fragrant Madani incident about Madani Namat, that is the Naik A'mal booklet. Therefore, a preacher from Rawalpindi gave the following account. He has stated on 5th of February 2005, in order to enroll in the Madani Kafla course, I came to Faizana Medina, Karachi, the Global Madani Markaz of dawat e islami I was asleep in the Global Madani Markaz, Faizana Medina. My physical eyes closed, but those of my heart opened. Alhamdulillah, in my dream, I saw our beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam on a high terrace. Next to him were some sacks of Madani and Ahmad booklets. The Noble Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam was smiling as he sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam was looking at the booklet of Naik A'mal. Then I woke up. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, concluding our episode, I would like to give the message that Laylatul Qadr and all nights of Ramadan are very blessed nights. Try and spend as much time as possible in worship. Spend as much time as possible in the masajid. Spend as much time as possible reciting the Holy Quran and reading Nawafil. May Allah Azza wa Jal bless us with the privilege to spend most of our time in worship. Ameen. Bijahin Nabi Lameen sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Keep watching Madani channel. Inshallah Azza wa Jal tomorrow we'll be back with another episode. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم رمضان رمضان is the month of blessings and forgiveness رمضان is the month of blessings and forgiveness رمضان